Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I got a box of goodies to try out. They are some silicone molds and they are made by LaCranche Creations. Let me try not to lose it. I have some codes here for you because she sells uh, all different things. She sells some jewelry, some art, some molds. So you want to make sure to check out the website and I have different codes for all of the products. But I want to take out one of these here. Give you some information. So this is an extra large crystal cluster silicone mold. So this is made with really good quality silicone. Very, I can't wait to use that. So this is going to look like a uh, cluster of crystals with the long points on them. Next one is a large six-point crystal cluster silicone mold. So you could see uh, they're quite deep. These are going to be pretty. I can already tell. Sorry. It'll be very pretty. So that's that one. Then we have a small amethyst point. That's going to be cool. Nice and clean. I like that. And then we have a large 12 point crystal cluster silicone mold. Oh, I can't wait to pop these babies out. Now, she also sells molds for little bowls, trinket bowls or dishes, um, and different shapes. So I have here let's see which one this is. Super Sparkle Angel Wings. Now these are good for like your mixed media work. I like those. Oh, wow. That's going to be beautiful. And the last one is a heart. Now I'm going to give you guys a really good tip. If you have one of these, Put your mold in one of these because any silicone mold, I don't care who makes it, is a magnet for hair, dust, all the things that you don't want it. So as soon as you open it up, put it in a baggie, and as soon as you're done using it, put it back in a baggie after you clean it. Now these you clean with just light soap and water, no alcohol, it will eat the silicone. And uh, I'll give you some more information as we're working with them. So let's get started. All right. So before I get started explaining the resins and all that that I have, I want to go over some information with you regarding the molds and how to purchase. Okay. So as I said, these are made by LaCranche Creations. I will link the name, website, social media sites, all that below. They are made in a pressure pot, which I've been told is the best way of making them like they're really good quality. Um, they have a shelf life of 25 to 30 years without resin use. But once you start using the mold and use it over and over, you may only get between 50 to 100 castings before uh effects start to show so that's quite a few castings and that's not saying that it would be no good because i have molds that i've casted in probably 200 times sometimes they'll get a little dull but um most times they they hold up really well and another thing re uh in conjunction with the word dull 
mold release. They sell it. I have a small bottle here. Now, the directions she gave me were for the super sparkle molds, which are the flat, the angel wings and the heart. 12 inches away, a light dusting, and that's it to help with these ones here. But these here, I'm going to go with no mold release. I mean, this is, I've worked with silicone molds before, and this is really a good quality silicone, and I do not believe I'm going to have any problem popping it out. We use this one when, when uh, molds, in my opinion, I use it when they start getting older and they, they don't want to come out as easy. These are brand new. They're shiny. They're ready to go. So I will not be using this for these bigger molds, but for the flatter molds, I will be using a light dusting. And I believe it's just, it has something to do with the super sparkle um, and keeping that sparkle alive longer. Whereas if you put the resin on it and it cures and you're ripping the piece of cured resin off of the super sparkle, maybe it loses some of its uh, shine. Now, I'm guessing at that, if you have any questions about this, you're going to reach out to her and ask her all the questions you want. Now, she has some codes, as I mentioned, and I'm going to name each mold as I work with it. She has eight different codes, coupon codes, which I'm going to list below. Uh, looks like there's a, um, the Super Sparkle Modes that I just showed you, there's a $15 off selected, uh, $15 off selected category with orders over $80. So 15 off 80, uh, coasters, 20 off 100, wire wrap jewelry, 25 off 125. So they, there's a bunch of them. I'm going to list them all. All right. And I'm going to list every social media site she has. So it's La Cranch, L-E-K-R-A-N-C-H creations.com. If you want to go on there and look around, I would uh, highly suggest. And she's also cut her prices down on the molds. And they are, I believe, very reasonably priced. So I have one, two, three, four, five different resins. Now, I believe that you should be using a casting resin when using these molds, but I've seen people um, use regular resin to do this. So guess what? I'm going to try a different resin for each mold. <laughs> We're going there. So the first one is the most stinkiest of them all, and that's the polyester casting resin so you know I'm, I'm don't even know if i want to use this this is so strong smelling you know what i take that back i'm going to save this for when i can do it outdoors but and i want to research it a little bit more so the first one i'm going to start with is the actual casting resin that i have these are the only ones that i have so it's Amazing casting resin I got it at Michael's. So liquid to solid in five minutes. We'll see about that. Also, when it's time to demold these, I'm going to show you how to do that. And blah, 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 blah. Let me get started. First thing with this casting resin, you'll know that the hardener, you'll see that the hardener is yellow-ish. So... Once you start mixing it together, it's going to go from that to a foggy white color almost instantly. And then once it goes back to clear, you'll know that it's mixed well. Okay. You want to mix nice and slow because you don't see how there's no air bubbles in there. You don't want to get air bubbles in there. That's the whole point of using this kind of resin for casting now I 
I can feel it already getting hot in the cup. Warm in the cup, I should say. So, I've got to move it, move it here. I'm going to put a few drops of amethyst. Alcohol in there. And then I'm going to nice and slowly fill up this mold all the way to the top. Okay. And then I'm going to put this to the side. I can't use it for anything else. I'm going to let it sit for just a second. And I'm going to torch those little bubbles on the top. And I'm going to leave it alone to cure now. I'm going to put that to the side, actually. Very carefully, I hope. And then we're going to get the next one ready. Now again, I am no professional by any means when it comes to molds. So any questions you may have, you ask her about that. And uh, I'm sure she can answer you. All right, up next, I'm going to be trying art resin. Now, of course, because this is the Tammy show, out of all the resin I have, five different brands, I had to spill two ounces of art resin because that's just me. I tell you, I go all the way or not at all. <laughs> oh, that hurts really, really bad. Anyway, so I'm going to try this large six-point crystal mold with the art resin. Now, I'm going to have a little twist. I want to add in a pinch of glitter. Nope, not glitter. I want to add in a pinch of blingit, 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 violet, violet pearl, uh, blingit, violet pearl. Yes. Just to get that uh, iridescent look in the finished product. So let me start with a little tiny, teensy tiny. and add as I go. Oh, that is beautiful. Let me add a little bit more. Now this has a lot of bubbles in it. I did start off by going really, really like slow like this, but I still got a lot of bubbles. So I said, screw it and just started whipping it around a little bit more. Now, another thing that these would be good for I feel our kids summer's coming. They're going to be out of school. They're going to be bored. Put some gloves and a respirator on them. Let them go outside or whatever. And let them make some crystals. Yes, you could grow your own crystals, 
but put them to work for you. <laughs> Have them make your crystals for your geodes. As long as they are properly suited up and careful and you supervise them. I don't see why they couldn't do that. So here we go. So I told you these things are like magnets for everything. Everything, everything. You have to have them in a uh, bag, which I did. But still, as soon as I take them out of the bag, things start just flying through the air towards them, I swear. So I'm going to fill it right there. I'm going to let it sit for a minute. I'm going to try to torch it a little tiny bit. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this rock. Is that picking up the purple at all? Like that violet hue? That's what I'm trying to replicate in my crystal. By the way, these big rocks, I get them at Michael's. I put them in a frying pan with a lid on for about 20 minutes on between low and medium. And then I take them out very carefully. Well, I dump them out into an ice bath to uh, shatter their structure. They don't shatter apart, but it breaks their structure. And then you could put them in a bag and break them up like the little glass marbles. And they make beautiful uh, pieces for your geodes. That's the expensive way, though. Because one of those rocks was like $9. So, I only use them for special occasions. Okay. Pop those. And I'm going to fill it the rest of the way. So, that's why casting resin it was meant for something like this. Because it's low bubbles. It produces low bubbles. But until I get a good casting resin, I have to use what I have. So you want to go right to the top. And you know, I have some resin left and I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to grab out one of those. Actually, no, I have this other one here that I may be able to fill with that. As for torching the bubbles while it's in the mold, um, like I was really, really careful, but you don't want to burn your mold either. All those cavities. Also going to use this with uh, I know I said I was gonna use a bunch of different resins but 
I'm pretty sure they're all going to react like the art resin. I mean, the art resin and Stone Co. are the, the best two resins out there, if you ask me. Um, so I'm not going to bother <clears throat> mixing up Stone Coat because it's going to behave the same as Art Resin does. But I'm going to mix up some Envirotex. This here, I'm going to finish this one off. I'm going to move them. And then I'm going to spray the mold release just move this to the side let those sit now this here I'm going to spray the Casting Craft Mold Release uh, Shake Container Vigorously Before Using. Spray into Mold Cavity. Work Spray into Mold and Allow to Dry. Alright. Shake it vigorously. I'm going to put you on pause after I <clears throat> spray this until it dries. Light dusting. All right. Gonna let that dry for a minute and I'll be right back. All right, so that is dry. So what I'm going to do is put these on something that's going to allow me to move them. Just make sure that you can see what you can. So I'm going to put the rest of this art resin in these two. It's so pretty. Shimmer. Now these are very, very um, shallow. Just gonna put a little bit and spread it out. Make sure you fill the entire cavity. Don't need much. Now you could take a nice little pair of wings. I'm planning on using the wings with the heart and a mixed media piece. I think that'll look really cool. Okay, so there's one. And, well, it sounds like I'm going to have to threaten my daughter with a foster home if she doesn't turn that music down. It's getting louder and louder. I tell you, these kids, first of all, a bunch of freeloaders. They don't want to do anything. I get the look, the death stare when I ask her to empty the dishwasher. Now, back in my day, that stare would have earned me a good ass whooping. But 
I don't know. My kids are just spoiled. Not spoiled monetarily wise. They know that I'm a big pushover. Which I'm sure a bunch of you can relate. <laughs> All right, so there's that one, and then the heart. curious to pop these out one of them believe it or not i could pop out already the one i did with that casting resin that stuff like firmed up in five minutes <laughs> now when you're taking these out you want to be very careful that you don't rip your molds you want to be very careful that you don't indent uh your piece that you made because when you take it out it will be hard but it's not fully cured so if you go and handle it and press on it and things like that, you're going to indent it with your fingers. So I'm going to show you how to take it out nice and easily. And you put it to the side and let it continue to cure for another day or two. Depending on the uh, instructions on your resin. There, there's so many that I can't keep up with. I have to look at the packaging to find out what the full cure time is on a uh, piece. There's, you know, uh, you're able to touch it after this many hours, able to move it after this many hours, able to have a conversation with it after this many hours. I mean, there's just so many rules. So that's those. So again, I'm going to torch very quickly. Try to avoid that mold as much as I can. And these you want to try to keep, you know, somewhat clean so that you don't have to trim your piece too much when it's done. I'm just going to take a paper towel. and clean up along where it's overflowing a little bit because I poured a little bit too much in there. All right, then I'm going to put it to the side now, get it out of the way so we can move on. Excuse me for a minute. I got two words for you, soup kitchen. Turn it down. Okay, guys, now that I took care of her. <laughs> now I have some Envirotex that I mixed up. And I noticed that out of all of them, well, besides that first casting resin, Envirotex had the least amount of bubbles. And I really whipped this stick around in there. I'm just surprised at that, so... Virotex. That's what we're going with. Now for this one, I want to add a little glitter. Just a little itty bitty bit. I'm just grabbing 
my bucket of white glitter. They just want to have that little tiny bit of sparkle in there. I think it'll look cool. So I have one here called Iridescent Unicorn. And that is, I believe it's a AC Moore brand, but don't quote me, it may be Michael's. So I'm literally going to tap some in there. to give it that little bit of sparkle. And I'm gonna go a little bit more because everybody loves glitter, right? And after this one, I'm gonna take out um, the first one that I made. Of course, now, my book is not level, so my heart is pouring out, but I'll fix that after. Let me do this first. That is just really pretty. All right, so. Here we go. Last one. Didn't notice pouring fast like that. Got some really big air bubbles that flew down in there. Hopefully they come up to the surface. See one there. Pour slow. I cannot stand these cups. So it doesn't just pour straight out. It goes down the side. All right. That's it for that. And I'm going to torch it quickly. I have to keep coming back to that one. Because I know there's more down in there. I'm going to put that right there. And now I'm gonna show you how to remove one of these, okay? So, go around with your thumbs, pull it apart. I should not have used the alcohol ink with that uh, casting resin, because it turned it to a, uh, what's it called? Pastel. So, you see here what I'm doing, right? Very gently, just separate it from the sides. And then come on down here. Look at that, guys. Holy moly, I'll behave myself. You are not going to believe. Oh, I wish I did this in clear. I'm going to do another one with my leftover. You could see the slight glimpse. Wow. If this was clear, this would all, where you're catching it, uh, shine a little bit on the, the edges right here. 
those would all be shiny crisp clear crystals i am super 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 impressed wow now i'm excited to get the rest of them out so i'm gonna pause you we're gonna wait overnight obviously for the next ones And you know what? I'm going to mix up a little more of that casting resin and do it in clear this time. So I will be back, guys. Before I move on to that, I want to use up my uh, leftover resin that I have. So I have one of these uh, silicone molds that one of my subscribers sent me. Thank you so much, Karen. I'm going to buy another one to match it so that I can make a six pack of coasters at once. But I've wanted one of those for the longest time, and I'm finally getting to use it now. So what I'm going to do is make some coasters with white, um, black, and brown. White, black, brown, and some rose gold metal mixative. I, I've never done one with metal mixative. So we'll see how it goes as far as that's concerned. But I want to do this first before I do that last uh, mold because I don't want this to heat up on me. Alright, so I'm going to Put in some resin. Oh, look at that glitter. I'm wondering if I have enough for another one. Well, I already dirtied this one, so put the rest in there. Waste not, want not. Right, right. My daughter came running in here when I was on break and said, what do you mean soup kitchen? I said, that's where you're going to be eating because you're going to be homeless if you don't stop with that music. <laughs> she says, mom, I'm 12. I said, yeah. And what's your point? <laughs> All right. So this one doesn't have enough. So guess what? The rest of the clear with the violet in it, the art resin, I'm mixing into the Envirotex because we're going to make a test here. Can you mix two resins together and will they cure? Two different brands. So I have art resin and Envirotex in this one right here. I'm just going to swirl it around a little bit. We're experimenting. Okay. So now, on with the colors. So I think first I need to torch. That would be pretty all on its own. Even that one with just the glitter. So. Here comes the white. And 
and then we're going to go brown, which is called ginger. More white. Wow, look at this weird thing. That's crazy. That is really funky looking. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Black. More white. Try some of that rose gold, right? Well, that sinks right to the bottom. running out here of white. This one is doing something really crazy and I don't know what it is. You just want to keep rotating the colors, I guess. I don't make these often. I think I made them one other time. It's weird because the metal mixative is sinking right to the bottom, but then popping back up. So I don't know what that's about, but I'm about to end this travesty. <laughs> Swirl it with a stick and see what we come up with in the morning. All right. So you know what? Because that one was doing something crazy, I'm not even going to swirl. I'm just going to leave them alone and see what happens to it. I'm very, very curious. All right. So let me mix up this casting resin. Just a little bit more to do that one. And I'll do it on camera with you because it's really quick. So first we need... equal parts of A and B. So I'm going to go with one and a half ounces of each. See how watery it is? Very watery. So, I'm oh, sorry, half an ounce, not one and a half ounces. 
it's a half an ounce of can't see half ounce of that actually maybe a little bit more three quarters Three quarters on that. There I go, spilling stuff again. Got the cap was on it. And three quarters on that. And you'll see it go from yellow to foggy white to clear. And then you pour it. See? Foggy white. Back to clear. You should go slower, slower than what I just did because now I made a bunch of bubbles, but you get the drift. I can tell I'm going to have a bunch of fun with these moles. And as I said, she got the coupons too, so check her out. Next one I want to get is a little uh, trinket dish. To make there that's good so I'm gonna put it do I want to do a little more glitter maybe have them all match or at least those two match all right right to the top and three quarters was too much overflowing on me <laughs> right, I'm just gonna let it go until it stops let it go until it stops good thing is is it's silicone it'll peel right off so I'm thinking a half one ounce is enough to fill that amethyst one let me just torch it really quick because, of course, the air bubbles couldn't fly off. No. All right, guys. I'll come back when they're all ready to be removed. All right, guys. So it's the next day. And, oh, my God, these things are beautiful. Now, the only thing I have to say is... I want to get some actual casting resin because I feel like I will get much better clarity. And this has nothing to do with the mold. It's the resin that I'm using. They're very shiny still. But the inside, because I had to use uh, regular resin, there was a lot of bubbles that I couldn't get. And you really shouldn't be torching or using fire around these molds like you saw me do, but, um, yeah, I, I can't believe the detail. Now the one casting resin that I do have, 
uh, this amazing clear cast. I have to find out if it comes in clear because obviously the one I got was white and I didn't realize that. Even when I put the purple alcohol ink in and it turned to a pastel, it still didn't dawn on me. Duh, Tammy. So anyway, I poured clear in it with you guys last night and here's the one that I did with that, which is obviously white, like I said, so I have to find a clear one. But that stuff worked good. I literally took this out in 10 minutes. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that Michael sells a clear version of it because I feel like that will be the best. And again, that's the amazing clear cast. So now... I popped one out. I'm going to show you how to get them out, but I want to show you this one. They are absolutely gorgeous. The detail is just amazing. Really, really is amazing. But again, because I had regular resin, um, it's pretty clear, but I think a casting resin would be uh, much better. To really get that shine. It, they are just gorgeous. She did an amazing job on these. I'm truly impressed. These are um, probably the best crystal molds that I've ever used. So now I have another one here. When you go to take these out, I had to... You guys know I have problems. My hands are a little deformed from RA. So I had to take my time and do this. It's nothing with the mold. You just, it's just how it is. When you get a good quality mold, you got to just take your time and keep pulling it with your two thumbs away from the center of, or pulling it away from the crystal. Okay. And then you have to get your finger in there and pull it out. So I haven't pulled this one out yet. I just got it started. So you didn't have to watch me fumble with it. And it's been only about 12, no, about 15 hours. Wow. Again, I wish I had that clear resin. Because this would have looked amazing with some actual casting resin. That's the one that I put the purple in. And you can see all the little crystals and the detail. I'm definitely going to do another video or I'm going to make some more and show you with the right resin. How beautiful they are, but I already have a special project planned for these and you guys are going to love it. I know it. So there's that one. Then I have one more here. I showed you that the small amethyst was the white one that I did with the actual casting resin. So here is the last big one that I did. Oh yeah, these are going to be really, really, really nice. You could just see so much detail in that, even with the cloudy resin. Wow. Bravo, LaCranche Creations on these molds. So now the, the uh, Super Sparkle molds. Now you got to remember, these are just really, really thin pieces of resin when they come out. I took these ones out already, and uh, one I poured a little too thin, and I also had that purple in this too, but these are, are more for embellishing things. So this one here, I went really thin, you can see. Again, no fault of the mold, that's my own fault. There's the other side. And I could just see these. Now, I used some of the resin that had the, the violet blingit in it for these, but I could see these clear. 
and then going over them lightly with some um, tinted resin, like with alcohol ink, those will sparkle like crazy. So those are the wings. And here is the heart. So you just want to kind of pull it away. Now, this is still very pliable, the resin, because it hasn't been, you know, very long. If you want it to be rock hard, leave it in there until you feel it and it's rock hard. This totally does not sound right, but for, for sake of me moving on to the next video, I'm pulling it out now. So I had a little spillage there. You can see they peel right up. This one I'll have to trim a little bit because I spilled. So in the end, the molds work perfectly fine. It's just any error you see is, is operator error. Any, you know it being cloudy or anything like that. Nothing to do with the mold. It's the resin. But I do have something interesting here. That resin that I did last night, I had a little bit of the art resin left and a little bit of the Envirotex. And remember, I mixed them together. I said we would see if it worked. Guess what? It worked. Absolutely worked 100%. I have it right here for you. Just want to show you that quick. So this was the one right here. Worked perfectly fine. Hard as a rock. And this is pretty cool looking. I don't know what happened or what I did, but it made some really cool effects. And here's the other one. Wow. Those are freaking cool. Let me show you these up close. This was the one that had the art resin and Envirotex mixed together. There's like some honeycomb effect or something going on in there. It almost looks like a flower. So again, I mixed up art resin for one crystal and then I mixed up the Envirotex for the other one, had a little bit of both left over and combined them. Worked perfectly fine. Just so you know. Sometimes we have an ounce of Envirotex or two ounces of art resin left and we need three ounces of resin. So don't mix them like Make your batch of art resin, make your batch of Envirotex, and then put them together, and then they'll work. Or at least it did for me. This is really cool. Can't wait to make some more of these. I'm excited now, and that glitter is so pretty. All right, guys, so... That concludes our product review of LaCranche Creations silicone molds. As I said, she has molds. She has um, jewelry that she sells, wire wrap jewelry. She has um, coasters artwork, I believe. And I have codes for each individual category. So check her out. I will link everything you need below. I wish I could remember which resin this was. I'm thinking it was the art resin. And this is the Envirotex. Or was it vice versa? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, there you have it. Absolutely gorgeous. So 
make sure you check out the description below. And as always, happy boring!